Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is my shiny new Gun Cannon 2, which uh, I'm still learning, but it is a Gun Cannon, so I have a decent frame of reference. I do all right, but this isn't this isn't my best round ever, but it's passable, and it's 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 about the third one I've played with it. Um, the Beam Cannon has piercing. That's the uh, that's its main thing. In the first game, it had knockdown. Now it has piercing. I prefer the piercing. You can do a lot with that. Let's see. G3 managed to get out of my sights before I could uh, home in on it. Missed it there. But now it's time to fire at that guy. Caught him. Did not stun because I was not fully charged with either weapon. But yeah, the uh, beam cannon you cannot fire unless it is actually charged. So beware. Um, I, uh, I'm, I got at least one of the focusing ring parts, and I think I'm going to put it on here, because being able to charge that a little faster would be fantastic. Got that, uh, missed that, uh, I think it was an Alex. But let me tell you, the round I played before this was one in the city, um, with some, with, uh, second round tonight I played with a, with a viewer, and good playing with you, man, sorry that one came out so terribly. But our ace in that one, I don't know if it was intentional or accidental, but he just did us dirty. He disconnected just as he was declared ace. And so we had no ace for the entire round and lost like 11,000 to, uh, 11,000 to, uh, uh 15,000, which considering we didn't have an ace, I think is respectable. But that is, I think, uh, it's either a G4 or a heavy Gundam charging there. Apparently, the Heavy Gundam's beam gun, I, as far as I can tell, does the same kind of, uh, you know, high power shot that the uh, G4 Gundam's Mega Launcher does. I think so, anyway. But I'm just waiting for him to stick his nose out a tiny. He didn't. I missed. He missed. That's fine. But as it is, he's now trying to fire on the person uh, back there. And caught the feet. Catching the feed is good. But yeah, this is when I realized, looking at the radar, that there's a path down back there now. And I'm just watching all the numbers and the life bars go back there and just going, what the what? Because I, I didn't know they had added another path to this map. But the revisions, I think, were wise. Because the more that you can do, the, uh, the more places you can go, the less... You know, it's harder to get bottleneck now because there's a way around that arch from both directions. So that's going to that's gonna hopefully change the course of things a little bit. And this is just me having a straight-up shootout with a uh, standard gun cannon, which I decided to go with uncharged shots mostly because it is it is greater mobility. I can get out, I can fire and get out of the way of his shots bef since he has to uh, plant feet to use the shoulder cannons. So yeah, got him. Overheated my uh, beam rifle. I'm gonna call that worthwhile. And just waiting for an, a good opening, and that is not it. And I got sniped from the side by that tunnel that I'm not used to being there. And I kind of make a lot of bad choices regarding this tunnel, uh, you know, going forward. That's an Alex. Yeah, I'm going to try and get down in there and go after some things. But that heavy Gundam, much to my surprise, I don't think the Gun Cannon 2 has a lot of beam defense. Because you, you saw the, you know, the tiny amount of damage the shells did. But the, uh, the uh, heavy Gundam kind of tears me to pieces with its beam uh, weapons. Right now I'm just trying to get a shot in and I am, you know, in a really nice bottleneck here. It is, if I'm going to be using anything and I just flubbed my weapon switch and stunned two of my people and I felt like an idiot. But yeah, if I'm going to be bottlenecked here, I need to be using a, a shoulder cannon for the, uh, for the uh, piercing. But they moved out of the way so I should probably be using the rifle for, uh, you know, speed. As it is, I tag that Alex. It's going to kill me anyway, or the heavy is. Yeah, because it, it has a pretty good beam uh, shoulder cannon that does not need to uh, charge completely to fire. So that's that's kind of the difference. Yeah, I kind of... I want to get that when I can. I hope it turns up soon. But yeah, I, I made a mistake. I made a major mistake there. Luckily, in this match, we do keep our ace, and that's going to be important. Um, but as it is, yeah, I, I make a lot of mistakes here. I'll be honest, I was getting tired and punchy. It's like, uh, 11-something at night, the night before my dad comes home from the nursing home, and I just wanted to get some videos in the can for next week while I still had a chance. Um, if, I'm pretty sure I have some guest stuff on hand still, and if anybody, you know, has, 
uh, if anybody I know has anything to uh, offer, uh, I would probably be interested because I, I just have a feeling I'm not going to have a lot of time to play while I'm getting used to things this week. Okay, got some good damage in on that. I'm surprised the follow-up shot didn't take, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a G4 that is the, uh, excuse me, the enemy ace, the, uh, I think it's the, our, our ace is an Alex, and nearly killed the ace. They killed the ace, so that's the, you know, that's actually a good thing because they get, we, they get the full, uh, you know, points for killing the ace, and I got a nice assist worth more than my entire mobile suit. So that is, that is good, that is good stuff. So basically I am just hanging way back here where it's tough but not impossible to hit me and trying to tag things as they move in and out of the uh, arch. And there I go screwing up my weapons again. But also, especially with the ace about to head uh, my way, this would be a good time to land a shot if I can. Just waiting. Missed the camphor, that is a pity. These camphors are, you know, fragile. That Alex, I think, was charging to try and hit me. I hit it. Aimed a little too low on the G4. Definitely a G4. You can tell by the shield and the uh, back, you know, fancies. And I'm getting attacked from two uh, sides I'm about to die. Which, you know, nobody's fault really but my own because I was not paying enough attention. And I'm pretty sure the whole team just got uh, wiped while I was scoped in and trying to land a shot. Luckily, the G3 got greedy and and killed me itself and did not leave me for the ace. That's kind of ideal in the, you know, in worst case scenario land, which is where I was living. And about to spawn back in. Number five is dead meat. And sadly, the ace got them. But the I'm spawning back in next to the ace. Uh, somebody said sortie together, which is good advice, but I wanted to be here and make sure I could do something uh, to cover for the ace. Instead, I'm just standing still trying to uh, charge shots and getting myself murdered, which I do a lot in this round, as you can see. Yep, there's the uh, enemy gun cannon, and at this point, it's landed enough shots on me that I just... I, d I cease to care whether or not the ace gets it and just get it. And now... I'm trying to keep myself alive, and as I recall, we uh, we do win this, but the end is kind of boring, because what I decide to do in order to keep us from losing with my 1,100 hit points is go back and get repairs. I don't think that was a bad move, frankly. Oops, got another kill by accident. I was not trying to make that kill. Enemy ace destroyed. And, yeah, I come a little closer. Maybe this isn't the one where I went back to repair, but, you know, going back to repair, not a terrible idea if you wanted to, because... Yeah, I mean, stay alive. And got the, uh, no, got the assist on the G3. Oh no, I got the G3, I got an assist on something else. So, yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm at least contributing pretty well here at the end. I should be leaving all this for the ace, which, you know. But we won, and that's the important part. And, you know, I did pretty well. I believe I did the top damage for this round. I like the colors on that gun cannon. But, uh, yeah, so good round. We won, we got the, uh... We uh, got the Encourage, and I got top damage, 69,000. Not bad. Four kills, two deaths, also not bad. So, yeah. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back tomorrow with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Another thing that the Gun Cannon 2 can do that would be very useful on the old version of this map especially is double jump. When when winning this was pretty much a matter of who has that archway, getting up there with uh, with multi-jump would be really, really handy. Not quite as essential now, though.